Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today we're going to be doing a camera test for the Lenovo Legion phone. Now this has a dual camera setup with one 64 megapixel wide lens and a 16 megapixel ultra wide, along with the front facing 20 megapixel pop-up camera. First up, we'll go through some of the photographs I've taken with this phone. So the first of each of the images is the standard HDR mode photo, and then the following photo will be the 64 megapixel HD version of that photo. So both have HDR enabled and AI turned on. So yeah, have a look through and let me know what you think. So I've put some time codes in the description so you can quickly jump through the different parts of this video. So hopefully it's all been covered here and I will see you at the end of the video.
Okay, so this is the rear facing camera and we're using the 64 megapixel sensor and we're recording 4K at 30 frames per second. So we'll just see how it handles different lighting conditions. So far I've actually been quite impressed with the camera on this phone. You expect a gaming phone to sort of have a, a low budget camera but actually it seems pretty good so far. Now this does have the, the gyro EIS stabilisation enabled. So I'm going to come down one of these hills in a moment and we'll see how stable it actually is. Just get some shots of the sky. A few dark clouds up there. It's not meant to rain today, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it will not. As this phone is not waterproof. Just see how it uh, picks up on these leaves here. I found the focusing on this phone to be pretty good actually. If we uh, just pop my Galaxy S20 Ultra here, you can see the focusing is spot on. Straight away it will focus on the new subject in the video, which is great. And now we're really going to test out the stabilisation as we go down this hill here. Now, assuming I don't uh, fall over and break my leg, I should be able to upload this a bit later on today to see how it fares. I'm going to start jogging down the hill a bit and see how it goes. As far as I can see on the screen, it seems okay. But uh, obviously we'll have to find out properly when we get it onto the computer. This is just a quick wide angle camera test. It's extremely windy today so hopefully the noise cancellation is working well. We can switch to the main camera, go back to one time zoom. Here we are, two time zoom. Three times zoom. Four times zoom. And then we 
we have five times in. Again, we're going to switch back to the ultra wide. Now there's a rather cool mode called dual mode, which allows you to shoot the rear and the front facing camera at the same time. So I guess if you're doing some vlogging or something, it'd be a nice uh, little feature to have. It's not exactly a brand new feature. This has been around on Samsung phones, certainly in the past at least for a while. So it's nice to have. And you can obviously put on different effects. So we're gonna try out some of those as well, see what they look like. Okay, so these are some of the effects you can add on to your sort of portrait photo whilst you're streaming. So we've got a lovely uh, Legion cap and sunglasses. What else have we got here? We've got, I suppose that's uh, suitable at this current uh, time in the world, the pandemic. We've got some other sort of Legion uh, trophy things that can sort of float around you as you're recording. Obviously, yeah. What else have we got? Got some other bits and pieces here. Got some lovely masks. I guess that's your Call of Duty mask. There's your surgical mask, which uh, looks lovely. And we got some sort of Stormtrooper helmet. Not quite sure what that one is. I guess that's a futuristic one. Here we go, we're uh, another one just gonna sit down here. What else have we got? We've got some lovely sunglasses, so yeah, looking pretty good I'd say. Uh, they've even got a sort of reflection there, which is interesting. I'm not quite sure what that reflection is from, but it's certainly not from my uh, surroundings. Got some futuristic shades here, some lovely antlers cat mouse, uh, cat ears, and lovely bunny ears. I think the best one in this lot is probably, it's got to be the, uh, where is it? It's got to just be the standard sort of sunglasses, hasn't it? So the other thing you can do with this is you can increase the size, you can decrease the size, move it wherever you want, you can pin it to places, so that's quite good. And we have other bits and pieces here, so, Let's just turn this off. So you can actually increase the size of your eyes if you really so wish. So if we wanted bigger eyes, then we've got them. It's rather sinister, so I'm gonna turn that off. What else have we got? We've got facelift. Probably could do with a facelift at some point. Not sure what it's actually lifting. It's not helping my eye bags at the moment. We can increase the whiteness of your skin if you really wanted to. Just your skin smoothing, so that's off completely. And that's fully maxed out, almost like an oil painting, and we can turn it all off. Got some good little filters here as well, so just quickly go through them all. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So some nice little things you can do with this, really. Um, and the other bit in the top left here is you can actually switch to either a dual on the back camera, which you can zoom in and out on. Yep. And you can also have half your face in a dual and the other half on the main camera. So yeah, it's got quite a few features actually. I'm quite impressed with it. This is using the front 20 megapixel pop-up camera. And we're shooting in 1080p. Now I have seen that you're meant to be able to record in 4K on the front facing camera, but currently I can't see how that is achieved, as the only options we get are 1080p and 720p, so it's possible that it's coming in a firmware update, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll find out. Now 
have enabled the front video stabilisation. Not sure there's actually a gyro control for the stabilisation or whether it's just a digital one, but uh, we'll see how it comes out. It looks okay currently on the uh, on the screen, so we'll just have a look and see. It's quite a windy day today, so we get to see what the noise cancellation is like on here. Okay, so I've just switched to the front facing camera. Now this has apparently got uh, four mics, which uh, helping with noise cancellation, etc. But yeah, overall I've been really impressed with the Legion phone. Uh, maybe could have done with a slightly wider angle on the front facing camera. But overall, as long as your lighting conditions are good, you're going to get some good results. Phone out at uh, arm's length just to get my whole head in there. Maybe that says something about the head. Not sure, but uh, yeah, we're going to try one in portrait mode and see how that looks. Okay, so we're in portrait mode, and it's easier to hold certainly because you've got uh, one hand free. But again, I am still holding this out quite quite far to fit my whole uh, head into the uh, picture so but yeah I think the quality from what I can tell on the screen at least is pretty good so the only thing you worth mentioning I suppose is that when you're holding the phone like this you've got to either keep your hand the hand holding it away from the center Otherwise you might get your hand in the picture when you're doing the recording, so obviously not going to be much of a problem once you get uh, the initial muscle memory sorted out, you should be absolutely fine. So there we have it, that was the Lenovo Legion phone. I think you'll agree, the camera's pretty good. Now you probably noticed that there was quite a lot of mic noise in some of the videos. That was probably my fault from covering up the mics or moving my fingers over them. Specifically when I was holding the phone with two hands so I didn't drop it, that was the time it happened worse. But overall I was really impressed with the phone camera considering its price and yeah, it's, uh, it's a fun little phone really and I quite enjoyed using it. So I'm hoping to do a live Q&A for this phone along with the Asus ROG phone once I've reviewed that. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when that's going to happen. And then if you have any questions at all that you want me to check, you know, live on stream, I can do that for you. And yeah, it'd be, uh, it'd be good to chat to you all. So, so again, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again in the next one.